Good afternoon, people. Um, this is like my third attempt to uh, to record something today. I keep getting called. I think I've been called from Brazzaville, uh, Uganda. You know, I, I don't know why. Weird, but um, anyway, this is like the third attempt I've 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 had to try to record something uh, to put up. It's been a, a week or so, I think, since I've actually recorded anything. Um, I mean, today is the 27th of October, uh, Tuesday, and uh, as I said, it's been been a little while. Uh, some of that's just been because they're they're you know you don't see I don't seem to see as many uh, changes. Um, you know, most as you can see, the vast majority of all the of all the inflammation or the bruising and whatnot is gone. I mean, I'll zoom, come in. I'll zoom myself in. I um, mean, you can see that there's ever so slightly just a little bit here. Um, left and that's obviously because I had sutures there and you know traumatically if you want to say the stuff that was moved around um, this is where you know the vast majority of it um, showed up um, so it's hard to it's hard to put a, a large amount of, of um, videos out when there's so little change um, day to day now um, that goes into one of the things I thought I'd uh, put out here, and that's because people have asked me, um, how's recovery going? Like, how long does it take to recover? Um, I know I've probably hinted at a few things, um, but one of them uh, is that, uh, for example, it takes two weeks for all of the bruising to go away. Um, not swelling, bruising. Um, and I'm, I'm getting some well on track. Uh, it's Tuesday, so another couple of days, and this uh, basically, this will be gone. And, uh, you know, I said two weeks and it'll all be gone. Uh, the next kind of phase is about two months before all the um, swelling uh, goes down. And you know what? I still have uh, a fair amount of, I call it tension, on my forehead from where they did the, uh, the scalp advance and the, the orbital rim shave and the, uh, the brow raise and all that other stuff. It still feels tight across my head, like almost as if... You know, the skin still hasn't stretched to conform um, after it's been pulled back and, and whatnot. Um, you know, my upper lip, I don't know, I can, I can still feel, <laughs> I can still feel um, swelling there. And definitely there's, there's swelling in here. Uh, it, it'll eventually go away. And it takes about two months, I've been told, for that. Uh, similarly, um, you know, the next kind of phase is about six months where everything settles. Um, that's the question when I use the word settles. Uh, I guess you can understand, you know, similarly to doing like a foundation or, or work outside. Uh, you can lay all the foundation work and, and whatever, but after a while, um, you know, all the gravel and the sand and the, and the, the topsoil and all that stuff, you know, after a little bit of weathering, the rain, you know, a winter and whatever. You know, sometimes you have to go back and add a little bit more topsoil or whatever. Um, I guess the, what I'm trying to get at is that eventually uh, everything goes into, like, kind of sits in the place that it's going to. Um, the fat, you know, attaches itself to the, you know, skin bone muscle. Um, you know, your, your skin, you know, based off of blinking and raising your eyebrows and whatnot, your creases um, reestablish themselves in, in their new place. Um, and even with all the, you know, swelling gone, um, you know, I'm expecting that part of my upper lip, even though it's, it seems to be rather um, up, you know, I, you want to use that word, eventually it'll probably flatten, you know, the, this part. The thickness will flatten a bit, uh, which means that um, the uh, the top here will 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 go down just like a small bit. If you can understand that, ultimately, just settling means that it's going into the place that it's going to 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 reside for the longest uh, the longest um, long time, the long term. So uh, I guess uh, other some other questions that people have, have asked me um, is like, am I happy? Uh, it, it's it's hard to tell. At this point in time whether you know I'm happy with the results it's been less than two weeks you know bruising still hasn't you know completely gone away you know that uh, um, you know the swelling hasn't gone down um, I'm still actually at a phase where I'm still kind of 
look at myself and I see the differences from prefacial surgery. Um, and I'm compa I compare. I compare all the time. Um, I'm, I look, for example, I mean, I'll be honest at this point in time, I, um, I keep looking at my upper lip and am I unhappy with it? it uh, I, I say I'm not unhappy with it, I'm just not happy with it right now. Um, and that's because I haven't gone through the complete healing process. Um, I find that in a, um, a, a basic flat you know, a, a expression on my face, um, or just a little bit more energy into it. I have uh, more of a um, pouting uh, look, it, uh, whereas before my, my mouth was much flatter. It actually takes effort to put an upwards curve on my face. Um, that wasn't what I understood as being you know, the lip lift. I didn't expect the whole thing. It was supposed to be, you know, the top of the skin here, this part that was lifted up. Um, so am I unhappy? Uh, no, I'm not unhappy. Uh, I just don't know if I'm happy or not yet. These are, it's, it's, it's so hard to tell. I mean, it took like a year um, for, with my bottom surgery for, for things to kind of settle into place. And from that, you know, it's it's been two and a half years since my bottom surgery and you know what? I'm still trying to figure out if I'm happy overall. I mean, yes, I'm happy with where I am, um, how I got there. But the idea of um, is my, uh, is my, is everything work perfectly? Um, no, it doesn't. So am I completely happy? No, am I happy? Yes, Either you can kind of tell there's some, there's some idiosyncrasies about all of this. Um, anyways. These kind of things, um, th it has to be determined over the long term. Um, said, I'm, I'm happy that I've got through this. I'm happy that, um, for, for you know, I'm actually back to sleeping. Uh, I'm sleeping well. I'm happy that my digestion is back to normal. You know, um, all these things that post surgery cause me to go, oh my God, did I make a mistake? Um, you know, I can't believe I'm doing, I did all this stuff. Uh, the kind of, you know, questioning. Um, you know, once that's out of the way and then you're just looking at, you know, you look at your face, um, you see yourself in the mirror, you, uh, you can better assess because you're not worrying about all the other extraneous things. So, um, you know, this, you know, I've been, I think part of this, this, the, the, this video is singing about like what to title it. Um, and you're probably gonna see my, my idea about titling this video and you'll already see the title of the video by the time it's you know like oh you know oh my god did I ruin my life getting facial feminization surgery because that is a question that you know people want to know beforehand like is this gonna ruin my life um, it's also something that goes through your head when you've got a face, you know, a cloth, a cold cloth on your head, and you're constipated, and um, you're in pain, and you can't sleep through the night, and everything. Um, it, it's a valid question, and it's one of these things that people, I'm sure, the one of the values of doing a video like this is, you know, you get my, you get my insight. Um, you know, you, you get to get to learn from somebody else's experiences. Um, and I'm in no way telling people to get the, you know, get facial surgery or not. It's something you have to be comfortable with. Um, just like, you know, getting bottom surgery, when I was having my, my, uh, therapist, my gender therapist talking to me, well, are you okay with all the potential outcomes? Well, I think I am. And she says, well, let's go over some of the potential outcomes. And, you know, I, even, you know, I had to be okay that, even after all the bottom surgery, uh, if everything went, uh, you know, down the tube and some, you know, the doctor had to go and literally sew me up. So the only thing I have is, you know, some, you know, just some stuff on the surface. Am I going to be happy? And um, I had, you know, I had to be okay with that. I had to be okay with the possibility that everything wasn't going to work out. Um, and the same thing with my face, you know. I think 
you probably remember me saying earlier in some of these videos that, you know, I kind of have to be happy that, you know, even if my, the doctor put my face on upside down, that it's going to be, you know, can't be any worse than being the, the freak that some of, some of us of trans people are viewed as. And uh, I'm at that point where, you know what, um, I'm not, you know, I'm better off than I was before. And uh, um, I mean, that's about the closest I can say right now as to whether I'm happy or not. So um, I'm going to let this, uh, you know, uh, end the video now and uh, let you take in what I've talked about um, and probably do a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, in the future videos on on how things are settling and whatnot. Um, as an aside, I I'm kind of relearning makeup. Maybe if you understand that um, um, where things are in my face, you know where you know they haven't changed horribly. But the thing is, is where my eyebrows are, um, the relation, the relationship between you know where things need to be. Um, I'm, I'm getting used to redoing um, makeup, even just the idea of not having to worry about these ugly things that I have to cover up under my eyes. I mean, I personally am very happy with how this looks. So, and to the point, as you can tell, I'm not wearing glasses, um, which is because I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I have anything to cover up anymore, or anymore there, or hide with the frames of the glasses. So I, I'm probably going to add in, um, you know, some of the things I'm doing with relation to that, um, you know, and again, long term, how things are changing with my face, um, and some of the other things that I may be thinking of, like uh, um, getting some hair implants to to kind of get rid of the uh, the the M or W shape that I have up here. Um, so, anyways. Uh, I hope you've had a good day. I hope you've learned something from this. Um, feel free to like and subscribe, uh, share, whatever, um, this with, with other people. Maybe to explain what you're considering doing. Um, maybe a friend you know that's considering facial feminization surgery. Um, yeah, just pass it around. Uh, I'm working and uh, working my life to enjoy living in the moment and not worrying and worrying about all this stuff is, is, is part of that process. So enjoy and uh, live a life in the moment. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>